Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We're at Stanford University at the Ariaga Alumni Center for the first ever Women in Data Science uh, Conference. We're excited to be here. There's about 500 women talking really deep technical stuff in the early uh, panels and presentations. We're excited to be joined by a businesswoman, Kelly Thompson, SVP Merchandising Walmart. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's really great to be here. It's amazing to see the intelligence and creativity all concentrated here, and the talks so far have been awesome. I'm learning a ton. Having a good time. It is a good time. Some of that stuff was a little deep on the first one. I have to say, I got a, I got a little bit lost on all the network explanations, but uh, clearly it's heavy, heavy science to get to things like a better movie recommendation or right. 50,000 potential descriptive terms on the row that I look at. It's amazing the amount of effort that goes behind making a better experience. Yeah, it's great. And I think um, a lot of this stuff actually applies to retail too, where I'm a merchant. What merchants do is um, we serve customers. We're agents for the customer. So when the customer has a problem, we have a problem that we need to solve. So we're really interested in solving problems around connecting customers with the right products at the right price, making sure we buy the right amount of inventory, stuff that seems pretty simple, but actually isn't easy. And with Walmart on, you know, in particular, price is so important to our customer. Um, they're value seekers um, across all kinds of income ranges. Um, so we've done a lot of interesting work on pricing and making sure that we you know, live up to the brand promise of save money, live better for our customers. Um, so good stuff. Yeah, but then you've got this other thing too, which is time. Um, you know, now things in, in kind of an e-commerce world are moving so, so fast, sensitivity, fashion, et cetera, except Walmart buys in mass scale, right? It's containers coming across the ocean. How do you kind of juxtapose those those trends? Because things are moving quickly, but you know, buyers buyers place orders a long time before we see the stuff on the shelf. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a good point, but I think there's um, there's stores and there's e-commerce, and the cool thing about Walmart is we're using both mobile stores and e-commerce to kind of come together to solve problems. So you can buy products a lot quicker and get them onto an e-commerce shelf, and that can help inform what goes onto a store shelf um, and vice versa. So you kind of, the cool thing about Walmart is you've got this scale, but you can also move with speed, um, which is one of the things that we're really focused on both at Walmart e-commerce, but also within Walmart Labs. And one of the things you mentioned, there's so much data and so much information coming at it, it's, um, it's harder to be a merchant nowadays. So um, merchants can't humanly digest all of the information that's coming at them. So we've partnered a lot with our um, technologists at Walmart Labs and really helping merchants drive, scale their ability to drive sales and profit through, through the data products that we've developed. So it's, it's interesting, we've talked to a number of people here and it's always this kind of conflict between the data scientist who knows the numbers and the math and then the, the, the people that have the contextual information that know you know they've been in the business for a long time and it's really bringing those two together to work as an effective team is where you're going to get the value neither by themselves is really going to crack the nut so culturally how has that been working at walmart how have you kind of brought those two worlds together and taught them to work together to get a one plus one makes three you know that's a great question um, and that's really at the crux of it and so i would go to this word collaboration and it's a kind of a buzzword that everybody talks about but i think one of the fundamentals of successful collaboration is this humility and knowing that you need each other and so i think what we've done at walmart between labs and the business is really come to the table with that humility i need you and you need me and we have really are working on blending the art and science, this blend of business and, and technology. Um, it was a cultural shift for me. I had to um, kind of spend my time in different ways, learn new terms, um, and then I asked my team to do the same. And then on the business, on the, I'm sorry, on the technology side with the data scientists, they're so hungry to learn more about the business context. And that's really how you strengthen the ranks for a company, is you get this blend, this mashup between business acumen and tech acumen. To me, that's where the excitement is and that's where the future is at. So we've worked hard on that collaboration. That's awesome. So for the people that aren't aware that of, of kind of Walmart's investment in Silicon Valley, because you know, everybody knows about Benton Harbor and you know everybody makes the, the pilgrimage and that's where all the buyers go. But years ago with Excel Partners, I believe, you know, Walmart made an investment here in the Bay Area to be close to the technology hub. I wonder if you can share people kind of what that was investment was all about. I don't know if you were there at the, in the early days and, and how that's kind of morphed to really bring a different level of technology, because obviously super sophisticated on the supply chain, no doubt about it. But really to make an investment here in Silicon Valley around uh, evolving technologies, online commerce, and now big data. Yeah, no, that's a great point as well. Um, Walmart's investing where the talent's at, and um, especially with the creation of Walmart Labs. So I think we've done over 13 acquisitions in the last three years. A lot of that is to get the right kind of talent and then mash them up with all of that institutional knowledge within the business. But yeah, we've got over 2,000 technologists right here in Silicon Valley, and we also have other offices around you know, places like Portland and Carlsbad. Um, but we'll go to where the talent's at, and it's about bringing the talent to the business. So Walmart 
Walmart is building a technology startup within the world's largest uh, retailer. Um, so it's a really, really exciting place to be, um, especially for someone like me who loves that blend of art and science. It is not, it's not um, the way most established retailers go about the business. Um, so that's what makes Walmart unique is uh, Walmart Labs within, within Walmart. So Kelly, last thing before I let you go, it's, it's interesting how there was a lot of, you know, kind of on-prem um, on learning that went into the early days of e-commerce. And now it seems to be kind of shifting back. Now they're bringing with sensors and internal GPS. Now they can start to see uh, people's reaction to things in a store as we've done uh, priorly as people click around. So can you talk a little about the, the blending of those two kind of go-to-market strategies and how you can leverage one with the other to really provide a better customer experience? Yeah, it's another great point. Like in the early days, um, you know, the physical style of retail was really driving e-commerce, but now you're kind of seeing e-commerce and mobile commerce in particular drive um, physical commerce. And really what we see at Walmart is um, most of our customers actually have smartphones and they get them out and they use them when they're shopping yeah. a store. So they'll, in the, in, the store. in the store, they'll use them in the store. So they're doing things like they want to read more content about the items. They want to read reviews and ratings. What are other customers saying? They'll check and see what the prices are. Um, but they're actually using it to help get a richer in-store experience. And that's what's so great about a company like Walmart is you've got mobile, you've got e-commerce and you've got stores. And it's connecting those things seamlessly for the customer that gets us all really excited about what's possible. Wow, that's that's uh, this is the combo. The combo. So last question before I let you go. You you uh, you joke for you came online. You're kind of a business person sneaking around at a tech conference here. What are you hoping to learn today? What are you excited with that you've already seen? Uh, what what uh, why are you here? What are you excited about? You know, um, gosh, I could I could go on and on about what I've learned. I um, learned a lot from um, I think her name was Kaylin who talked about Netflix and just how do you connect sort of how do you use data to to to, to actually connect customers with things that they want and love and enjoy. Um, all these things are the neural networks um, in the first talk that, in, in the first talk that we heard. Um, just there's all this stuff is applicable. Um, when you're when you're making connections, um, that's really what this is all about. Networks are about making connections, and in retail, we're making connections between people and products, and so a lot of it's very applicable. Um, but yeah, really, really great speakers, um, and and more to come. So very excited. Excellent. Well, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks Thank for you. taking a few minutes, Kelly. All right. Take All care. Right. Thanks, you guys. Jeff Frick here at theCUBE. We are at Stanford at the Arriaga Center. Thanks for watching.